Hey everybody, how are you? I just took a little video a little while ago and I didn't have any makeup on or anything and I looked like total crud. It's like I just thought I would start over. <sighs> how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. And um, I feel like for some strange reason I have to apologize to myself because I haven't even seen myself in a while. Do you guys ever have that happen? Maybe when you're depressed or you got so much going on in your life, you don't have time for yourself, let alone time for others. And um, maybe like me, you have people that are like mad at you because you can't give them the time they need or want. And you continuously try to explain to them that this isn't anything to do with you. It's it's how my life is and it's hard. And um, maybe you're like me to where, you know, it's been hard for so long, like many years, like something real deep has happened to you at a young age, middle age, when you were born, I mean, maybe, maybe like me, you might have an autistic kid or maybe like a disability, um, that came on, you know, maybe something like that. And, um, getting people to understand is hard because they, they tend to just, okay they go they go on with their life which is fine that's what you want them to do but I mean it's like like a lot of people don't take the time to like really know what you're going through and um what what'll happen is they'll you know assume something else um or they'll take it personal I think it's 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 them and it's not and I can't even sit and say that it that it's you yourself, um, because sometimes outer, outside things come in, or I mean, you can't stop a disability, or you can't stop autism, you can't stop fibromyalgia, you can't stop MS, you you can't stop abuse. I mean, you can. Once you realize it's happening, then eventually, you know, you could. Uh, change things to get out of it but I mean if you're in abuse or something to where you didn't even know you were being abused because it was so subtle and it was just so weird like it just so hard to explain uh, you, 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 you can't you can't blame yourself and I mean I would ask people please don't blame us either because that's the last thing we should do. I don't know. I, uh, I'll probably be rambling on a couple different topics, but I find myself really, really caring about others that have real hard difficulties, you know, because, like, I feel like I've lived in a lot of them I haven't lived what they live, but I mean, I've lived the pain. I'm, I'm still in it today, and I had to go in. Like, I'll, maybe I'll post my video first of what I look like, and then, uh, and then I'll post the second one, and then you'll, you'll see. You know. Okay. But I feel like I can uh, relate or understand the pain, because generally. It's pain. So I mean, like, I just, I just wish others would, would really listen to you, and then not take things so personal, and like blame themselves or you. And I wish they would just try to understand. Like in our case, it's, it's autism. Autism has taken up our life. It's, it's, it's drained me. It's made me tired. Um, at the age of 38, I'm, I'm 45 now. At 38, I was having so much difficulty and problems that I. My life just changed. I started falling downhill. I started getting sick. 
um, couldn't breathe because I was running around chasing this kid. And like even the services that they offer, they only offer one person to come out and they're so little. Uh, they're into their homework they do at your house. They're, they're like on drugs. They're, there's just so many things and you need like two or three people to do this at once. You, you, you. They don't cover that. I've asked. You can't have two people in the home at the same time helping you and doing community living service, CLS, where they might give you 20 hours a week. And like a lot of you will sit and say to me, well, that is awesome. 20 hours. Oh, my God. Do it. Take it. And then you might get like five to eight respite a week. The respite where you don't have to be in the home, but the CLS, you have to be there all the time. You can't use it for, you know, fun or work or nothing like that. And even if you use the respite, for work you can't. They only approve like eight hours a week in, in in Michigan. I've been on it for like, it was like six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like six years. And we use these services and you should have just seen how, oh goodness, and more anger and more pressure and more it just, the kid wasn't ready. And now he is 20 and I'm hearing noises. Now he has 20 and uh, maybe like now he might be slightly ready, but I mean, still at 20, not really. I don't know what the main topic of this video is. I just want to tell you hi and I want to apologize because I'm not around and I also need to apologize to myself because I haven't even seen myself on camera. The other day I did because I went on to this um, app with a friend. Um, just haven't seen them in a while. And uh, I actually saw my face. But uh, you know what? It's I have to do some things for myself. And then people will say, well, you haven't called and you haven't done this and you haven't done. It's like the thing is, is I don't even have time to do for myself when taking care of autism. And it's like they all say, like, yourself comes first and then the others, you know, like, if you're going to go out and hand out Halloween candy through the church or whatever, you know, you have to have your chores done at home, like, basically. You know, you have to have, if you want to go out and help other people, you have to have your stuff done. You have to put enough into yours. And it's like, I put into it all day long and I still... I'm not able to help people the way I want to, to visit people the way I want to. And it really kills me inside. And I just wish for once, if I tell you this, that you'll just believe me. You'll really, really, really believe me this time. <sighs> this coming up August will be two years since my ma died. <sighs> That's a main thing that we go through. That's a big problem. On top of autism, on top of MS that my other half has, on top of the problems that I have, and you're still supposed to sit there and smile. I can't fake it, I know that. I try and it only lasts so long. It gets me about two weeks and then I'm even more depressed for like more months. When I really, really try sometimes and I really put my all to it, sometimes it's worse. <laughs> it brings on so many new problems. <clears throat> but sorting all through it is what I'm doing. And I just wish people understand. And I know there isn't that much time on this earth. And I know that a lot of it I've missed with you. But I've also missed it with myself. And when I sat outside the other day and cried and prayed to God, which I haven't done in like two years. So tomorrow's a new day. Let's go start, you know. We'll see you again. So be prepared to start over like every day. Every day. Well, I love you and thanks for listening. Sorry to get you depressed, but this is real. This is true. It's the truth. I don't sit and lie. If there's many people I be around that lie. I I don't lie. I'm one for the truth. 
I am sick and tired. That's why I like President Trump. I'm so sorry if I wrecked this whole video because I like Trump. That's why I like him. He's not fake. He's real. He's saying what's really going on in the world, and he's trying to do something about it. Now, isn't that great? Maybe other people that don't have any problems don't have to do anything about it. But he sure is one to wake you up and... I don't know the word for it. To make you truly... That's not even it. Face the truth. Stand. Fight. It's more than that. I can't find the words. I love you. Thanks for watching. Oh. Trying to love myself too. See you soon. Thank you for all you do for me and my family. Bye. I could go all day. I might do another video once I calm down. Bye.